Thank you. Good morning. I'm Sarusitar. I'm a postdoc at Georgia Tech, working with Dr. Deartekin. And I will like, present a multi-pass contrast agent imaging method we have developed using like CMATS. So today, there will be some other talks working on the same problem. So I'll like, a quick background. I think like, it will be helpful. So like, the CMATS, as we all know, I like promise that like to be broadband and they have great potential for multiple imaging. Because like the same transducer can be used to transmit that like at F0. And like the same transducer can also be used like to receive the higher like harmonic uh, higher order harmonic content coming from microbubbles like efficiently. But like these transducers are like known notoriously com like, compared to piezo electrodes to be like nonlinear due to their electrostatic uh, actuation mechanism. And then this leads to some complications because like since that because of the nonlinearity, the transducer cannot like simply generate a pure tone. And then like the harmonic distortion leads to some complications like extracting the, the, like the microbubble information, distinguishing like linear reflectors and like microbubbles using conventional techniques like pulse immersion and uh, amplitude modulation. So so like to use these transducers like, like effectively for contrast microbubble imaging, we have to somehow deal with nonlinearity. And this problem has been studied like, like extensively in the CMOS community for some quite some time now, and some numerous approaches have been proposed. So these methods can be like divided into like the two main camps, basically. So like the first approach is like to drive the CMOS in such a way that in the transmitted field the harmonics are suppressed. So it works like as a, as a linear transducer. So pre-distortion methods, we present distortion of the input signal, has been studied extensively, and however, these methods require like very deep, like, accurate calibration of the transducer, and also they require like complex driving signals. So in a previous effort, we proposed that by utilizing a, like a feedback structure employing a, a series impedance, the like harmonic content can be suppressed in the expanse of transmit sensitivity. So like a, like a novel method, uh, which was like, which presented last year, uses a quadrature in phase like, transmission using a checkerboard structure, which is like which requires like a special array structure also in the expanse of transmit sensitivity. So recently, as an like, alternative method to like, which works like an like, amplitude modulation case, a bias voltage modulation scheme, a multipulse bias voltage modulation scheme, were proposed. Uh, which accepts the fact that the CMAT is nonlinear and somehow extracts the multiple information using like the, the nonlinear data with like post processing of like, multiple transmit events. However, like it's limited to a uh, small signal operation. So in the, here in this talk, we are we are proposing a like a, another multipulse method based on like a phase phase modulated inter pulse phase modulated uh, multipulse scheme, which is valid for large signal. And also collapse snapback operation, which is an extreme case for device, uh, device nonlinearities. Also, it immediately improves the tissue to contrast ratio, and it's also like compatible super, with superharmonic imaging because like the some like the, the, the some of the methods are like it is like um, aimed to suppress a single harmonic. Then like you can so we can use like an imaging and like using multiple harmonics. So like a Come on, a simple way to look at the study of the CMAT nonlinearity is based on the, like the 1D parallel plate description of a CMAT, a single CMAT element, which describes the device nonlinearity, the, like the base due to the electrostatic actuation, as a description of like voltage square and gap, instantaneous gap square, depends on the electrostatic force. So for small signal, if the displacements are like smaller than the, like the initial gap at rest, the gap dependence can be dropped. Then this gives us, us a nice quadratic relationship between the drive signal and the transmitted pressure and also like the return echo from a linear target. So this relationship tells us that the, like the, the uh, received echo has the two, the fundamental and the second harmonic, and the phases of these the components can be adjusted in a very controlled way, like separately. So this can be exploited in, a, in multiple ways. So one way, again, like the, the quadrature and in phase transmission case where two pulses with a 90 degree phase shift are transmitted at the same time. So in the far field, the second harmonic 
what content is suppressed. So mm -hmm. this can be extended to like a multi-pulse scheme where like a three pulse, what phase modulated separate pulses are like transmitted and then when the received echoes are like added up for a linear target, the, like, the, the both harmonics are completely canceled out. This is valid for a linear reflector. If there are like micro bubbles present in like the image like, field of view, this quadratic relationship between the voltage the drive and the return echo is not valid anymore. So the micro bubble and the linear target can be separated, distinguished. So this is all nice. However, we are like in the small signal regime and we are not fully utilizing the like, full potential of the CMAT. So like the question is, can we implement such a technique, a trick to, in the large signal operation? So in the large signal operation, the gap square dependence cannot be neglected anymore. So like there isn't a nice relationship between input voltage and the transmitted field. So but if we can show that, if we like know that there's a higher order power series relationship between the drive signal and the radiated field, then we can use a similar technique. So to test that, we model like a simple, they basically investigated by a trial. So we model as an example CMAT. So there's nothing special about this model CMAT. So we are driving it in a, like a very large, large signal like regime where we can see that like, the, the harmonic content is pretty high compared to the fundamental content. And then when we check that, okay, if maybe we can, if we can fit a power series to this, uh, the like harmonic excitation pressure output, then like we, we can hypothesize that like there's such a relationship exists. And when we do like a five, least square fit, we indeed see that like such a relationship is valid. So then we can employ the, like the idea that, that like we can control the, like the phase of the each higher order harmonic in a control way separately by adjusting the phase of the input signal. So using the, like the similar, similar to the small signal case, when we do a three pulse scheme, is the, like the first so like the fundamental on the second harmonic can be like completely canceled out for a linear target where they will be like existing if there's a micro bubble in the individual. So the imaging can be done at the fundamental or in the second harmonic or like both. So this, uh, this can be generalized such that using N pulses up to the like the N minus one harmonic can be canceled out for a linear reflector. So we can do like the, the uh, imaging up to the like, M minus one harmonic of the drive signal. So we ran some like, initial simulations using the, like, the previously model CMAT for like a three pulse scheme for like to cancel out the first fundamental and the second harmonic. So both for a linear, linear reflector case and like with a micro bubble. So in the linear reflector case, we can see like the, 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 like, the three pulse scheme the, like the first and the second harmonic are like canceled out completely to the numerical noise level. Over in the micro bubble case, there's still clearly there is like some activity over that. It's like a hard to make a one-to-one -one comparison because this is the, like radiated pressure, at some point, and then this is the radius of the reflected echo. So like, this is just to understand. Okay, so like can we somehow distinguish between micro bubble and linear reflector? So this is we ran some like, initial experiments. To demonstrate the idea with like a real CMAT. So I picked up like found there, like a random CMAT in the lab, which is like there's nothing special about it again. So first we take check to like the small signal operation for the linear, linear reflector to be like almost to, to see if like the device like if everything like fine because like this case you know we have an analytical solution. So we are driving in like in a very small signal regime where we can see the term harmonic is like very lower than the first like two. So this is like a four pass sequence again, and we see that the more than 40 dB suppression up to the third harmonic to the noise level, which was expected. So to further investigate if the idea would work in an extreme nonlinear case, which is the collapse snapback operation. So now like we are driving the device very hard, and also we see that like the third harmonic content is comparable to the second, which I think which I saw that like at some point the total harmonic just jumps. So that tells me that like we are indeed in like the collapse snapback operation. So I mean again run the like for a linear target the four, four pass sequence that like the all of the first three harmonics are like sub more than 30 dB. So like additionally so it's well known that like the also the drive electronics 
I'm piezo electric. Transducer sort of like inherent nonlinearity. So we check if the idea would work with piezo. So here we did like a uh, macro bubble experiment using a like a Walter Fisher 7.5 megahertz PZT. So this is like the micro bubbles are like targets and targets of P. So they are like the step. on the document it says like it's up to 15 megahertz. That's why I draw it like at 6 megahertz. Now at the center frequency of the PZT. So here we see that like with saline only in the container and like with micro bubbles, here we see that like the, the, there is some like, harmonic content and also like the higher modes of the piezo come into play. And we can see when, when we put the like, micro bubble in, we don't see much difference. So maybe when we run the multiple pulse sequ sequence, yeah, for the like the saline only case, the signal the signal is completely cancelled out. But in the micro bubble case, like it is clearly some like activity again, which shows that like the device works also. It like the, uh, the nonlinear is related with the driver amplifier, driving the PZT and the PZT itself. So as there is like an additional node, it has been shown that the, like the tissue, the nonlinear is like related to propagation in the tissue, is obeys power series also, and like the contrast to tissue ratio is like an important metric. To describe where is the line is coming from. Is it from the micro bubble or is it coming from the tissue? So since like and since they obey the power series, the so like similar phase modulated pulse sequences can be used to improve the tissue the uh, contrast to tissue ratio. So like the proposed method inherently improves the uh, contrast to tissue ratio. So I'd like to conclude my talk. So we like we presented a like a phase modulation based multiple technique which is valid for like all operation regimes of like a seam up including the collapse snapback where you can use like m pulses to extract the m minus one first m minus one harmonics so like it in pre in inherently improves the contrast to tissue ratio and also also it's valid for as a side note like the drive electronics and piezoelectric non -medies. thank you very much